Thinking about getting a portable monitor for your laptop or device? These nifty devices are essentially external screens you can easily carry around, and they're becoming a big hit with gamers and remote workers like myself. Today, I'll walk you through the pros and cons to help you decide if one might be right for you. As a person who spends a lot of time working from their laptop, I've found that portable monitor extensions can be a game changer for productivity, and they're perfect for gaming on the go. But that's not all they're limited to. Anyone who needs extra screen space while traveling or working in different locations can benefit from these displays. Having that extra screen real estate has boosted my productivity. With a dual screen setup, multitasking becomes much less stressful, and it's incredibly easy to set up a professional workstation wherever you go, as most of these screens are usually small enough to fit in your laptop bag, if they don't come with a small carry bag themselves. What I love most is how lightweight and slim these monitors are. I'm using a decently priced Chinese model called the KYYK3. It's a 15.6 inch display with full HD and 300 nits of brightness. You can find many budget options for these monitors, but if you're willing to spend a bit more, you can get ones with faster refresh rates, better color, and better portability. This one is a standalone monitor that sits beside your laptop, but you can get others that attach directly to the back of your screen. I've already made a video about some of the best options available for monitor extensions. I'll include it in the link above. There are even options for joining two extra screens that sit at each side of your laptop for even more screen real estate. Keep in mind that you'll have more wires to connect with those, and if you're wanting a monitor to use for gaming on other devices too, then these aren't a good option. They're usually not made for other devices besides your laptop, and oftentimes don't detach from the laptop connective casing. One of the best things about the standalone monitors is that you can connect them with devices like your phone, handheld game console, or PC. For gaming, I'd recommend ones with a high resolution, 144Hz refresh rate or above and easy connectivity. The one I have is good for productivity tasks, making work more efficient and speeding up multitasking. If you're someone who hates having too many wires, you'll want to find one that has a cable to support power and screen viewing. Portable monitors like mine and many others need a power cable plugged in and a HDMI to support it. As you can see, it doesn't look great and it makes it slightly more annoying to use on the go. Portable monitors like the G-Story 14-inch have made it much more convenient by adding a case for the wire at the back, and you only need one connective cable for it. See our best portable monitors video to check out more similar ones. Something else to consider with these monitors is that they don't sound great. If you get one with audio, it's probably going to sound very tin can-like, especially on these cheaper models. For better sound, you'll want to go for a more higher-end model or get an external speaker. If it's versatility you're after, however, these are great. I've used mine as both a primary and secondary display. Some even have touchscreen capabilities, which is pretty cool. And for coding sessions, the vertical orientation option really helps. There are some drawbacks to consider, though. You might face issues with resolution and color accuracy compared to high-end desktop monitors. Battery drain can be a concern if you're powering the monitor from your laptop. And if you're using an older device, you might run into some connectivity challenges. Since we're talking about a device you'll be carrying around, there's always a risk of damage. You'll need to handle it carefully and invest in good protection. Also, keep in mind that warranties for portable electronics can be limited. You might want to check out curved monitors if it's for your PC. You can find some really smart ultrawides available like the Philips Envia Curved Ultrawide Monitor. See our other video for more info on that. These have a huge amount of space, but the lack of portability defeats the point. Using a VR headset or a pair of smart AR glasses could also be a good option to consider. The MetaQuest 3 supports workstations where you can extend your displays to whatever size you want. It's incredible, really. But I do find it tricky to type when wearing the headset, and it can get uncomfortable staring at screens even without the VR nethermind with it. That's why a portable monitor is a great choice for me. But what works best for you just depends on your specific needs and preferences. If you value flexibility and increased productivity, I think it's worth the investment. Let me know your experiences, or if you know any other good portable monitor options. See you in the next one.